SugarSync is not a traditional cloud backup service like iDrive or Backblaze. As you may have guessed already by the name of the company, file synchronization plays a major role and they are positioned as one of the major competitors of Dropbox and similar cloud syncing services. However, SugarSync takes the Dropbox model and gives it a little usability twist. You can sync any folder on your computers, unlike Dropbox, where files need to be placed into one single folder, which is standardized as the Dropbox folder. Yes, I know there are ways to hack Dropbox into doing the same thing, but that's not the point here. With SugarSync, it works out of the box without you really having to think about it. You just right click and then you activate a folder for a file synchronization process. So, as I said, you can either select files with the help of the wizard or simply add files via the context menu from the Windows Explorer. Unfortunately, SugarSync does not offer personal encryption. So files are essentially only transferred via SSL and are then stored encrypted at rest with a 128-bit encryption key. However, key management is under SugarSync's control. So they could give out that information to authorities if they wanted to or if they had to. If you're looking for the best syncing service with end-to-end -end encryption, check out my sync.com review right here. If you're interested in my entire best cloud backup series, do check out my 15,000 word plus article that will give you rankings, tables, and all the details you need to know to really make the best decision for your files. And you can check out the article right here or check the link in the description box below. But now let's continue with SugarSync and a few pros and cons. Let's start with essentially what I liked about this service. First off, SugarSync is not really a cloud backup solution. It is made for file synchronization in mind. I still included it in my list because of its unique approach that you can essentially select any folder on your system to be synced to the cloud. You can choose how much bandwidth SugarSync is allowed to consume and you can even select a proxy service that will go between the SugarSync client and the connection to the cloud for additional security. Now, their mobile app backs up all photos and videos on your mobile phone automatically. And it's certainly one of the slickest mobile apps in my comparison that I've seen amongst all the cloud backup services. Now for some dislikes. SugarSync is not the fastest of the providers, giving me a solid average of five megabit per second for uploading files to their cloud. Also, I really would have liked to see private encryption for my files. If you need that, please look at my sync.com or Spider Oak one review right here. SugarSync is also more expensive than other solutions. 500 gigabytes cost $24.99 per month compared to sync.com who offer the same storage with similar features for only $50 per year. So there's quite a difference here. Let's look at how to backup files with SugarSync. So backing up files in SugarSync essentially means adding them uh, for synchronization because this transfers folders to the SugarSync cloud and distributes files to other um, computers connected to the same account. But not only computers, but also mobile devices. You can add files and folders to your backups via the context menu, like right clicking on any folder and then um, select SugarSync as a destination. Also, connecting computers are not forced to sync all files in any one account. Instead, selective synchronization is extremely easy. You can therefore connect new computers with very little hard drive space without worry of filling them up with all your files in the cloud. You can leave all the files in the cloud and only sync down to your computer the files that you actually need on that computer. File restoration works in two ways. You can either log into the SugarSync web account and download a zip file of your folder similar to Google Drive, or you can download the software to a new machine and start the synchronization process from there. 
I took the latter route and downloaded SugarSync to a fresh virtual machine. I logged in with my credentials and then I started the synchronization or the restore process, if you will. In the um, SugarSync dashboard, you'll get a really nice overview how many and which computers are connected. And you can even see what folders are currently being synced. Hitting the plus sign adds a folder to the synced folders and downloads it basically to your computer. Now there is a nice touch. SugarSync asks users if this folder needs to be merged or if it should be added to a new folder to this computer. And I would like to do a restore. I chose a new folder instead, so all the files will be placed into that new folder. You can monitor which files are being transferred in the file transfers tab and prioritize restores by starring files to be restored first. They'll be moved uh, to the top of the, of, the, of the restoration or synchronization queue. SugarSync's mobile app is pretty slick and shows an exact representation of your files on a mobile device. Apart from the images like JPEG files, there are no in-app file previews. Instead, SugarSync suggests, or rather your mobile operating system, suggests an app which should open the file um, that is compatible with it. Business users would certainly like to see a preview of their PowerPoint presentations without having to open a dedicated app. Now, sharing works directly from the mobile app. The link can then be shared via WhatsApp, via email, or other messengers that you have installed on your mobile operating system. If needed, files can be also downloaded for offline use. For example, on an airplane. SugarSync clearly is not made for backup. It's a great solution for cloud syncing and collaboration and a worthy Dropbox competitor with a unique twist and decent speeds. Not good speeds, but decent file transfer speeds. Their mobile app backs up images and videos on a user's smartphone, and files can be shared and accessed pretty easily, in my opinion. So I certainly would have loved to see a separate backup feature like um, backup scheduling or creating different backup sets for synchronization and backup. Suffice to say that SugarSync doesn't have any ability to backup whole operating system or um, full, full system restores um, as you could do, for example, with iDrive or the Prime and Plus plans of uh, Carbonite. So, in the end, I really hope you found this video helpful and uh, you will give SugarSync a try because if you need file synchronization, it might, might well be worth it to do so. So if you like the video, please uh, hit the, the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss another video about cloud backups. And do check out my video series where I cover more cloud backup services in depth so that you can make the best decision for your files. Well, I really hope I see you in my next video and uh, well, see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As I've already mentioned, this is a video series of 11 of the best cloud backup services. If you think this provider is something for you, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking the button right here. If you still couldn't decide, make sure to watch my other videos from the playlist and you can access them by clicking on the logos here on this screen or you can check out the links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe.